we got an interesting turkey load, a TSS load, uh, budget friendly and well I should say a shoulder and budget friendly TSS load from Lights Out Ammo. We're going to put it on paper with the Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey. So let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so first up, Mossberg did send us this. This is the Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey. Now, you can see this is the compact version. This gun is tiny. Feels like you're handling a compact 28 gauge or 20 gauge. Um, on it, I have the ADE Apollo reflex that I'm being I'm testing. Uh, this cutout in the receiver is pretty slick on this Mossberg. Um, this ADE has a solar panel on there. It's always on unless you put the complete cover on it. Now I had a bunch of people ask me if I'm worried about that. I'm not. Because it's got 50,000 battery hours. If you do the math, 50,000 divided by 24, it's 2,083 days it could be on straight without dying. I don't know about you, but that's a lot of turkey seasons or just a lot of days in general. So... I'm not worried about that at all. Now the te the load I'm going to test, I do apologize. He does not, he was out of boxes. So he sent us a bag, which you'll the have that. Out sack. Yeah, we got a lights out sack. So this is a 12 gauge, uh, ounce and an eighth payload. It's designed for low recoil. And it does say for older people on there. Or if you're trying to have a budget friendly, uh, TSS load, this is an ounce and eighth of nines going 1175. Now this should have minimal recoil. So if you got a youth or you're older or you had shoulder surgery, anything you could think of where recoil is going to be your enemy, this shell right here handles that. That's a pretty cool looking little shell. And if you're moose and you're about 50 years old, still turkey hunting, this is for him. Yeah, he going to hate you for that. I'm happy you didn't put me in there as you tried to tell me that yeah, we were Jake's both 40 years old. I am 31. So don't let him fool you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the younger of the bunch. By like four years. Still kicking it. Yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to put this on paper. I think the, the best choke to start with with this little of a payload and this compact barrels is True Lock 650 for TSS. Now, I say this every video because I get questions about this. True Lock has a d bunch of different choke internal designs designed for specific things. So this one has an internal design to optimize TSS. Now I think with this little payload, I believe a 650 should hammer, but we're going to find out. So let's get it on there and see how it does. Also, I'm not doing the trigger pull test because I did a five pole average of this firearm that's already on the channel if you want to check that out. Uh, just search way in the finger ride on the 940 Pro Turkey because YouTube gets a little uh, iffy about a trigger or anything like that. They flag it. So I'm just going to call all our trigger tests the way in the finger ride so they don't flag it. It's working so far. We're going to keep it rolling. Let's get right to it. All right. So once again, Mossberg Pro Turkey. Uh, we have the, it's an 18 and a half inch barrel. We got the True Lock 650 designed for TSS, and we have we have the budget friendly low recoil load from Lights Out at ounce and an eighth of straight nines. So if you're looking for TSS but you can't afford the full payload or you don't like recoil, this load could potentially be a perfect fit. And for older people like Moose. <laughs> All right, it really shouldn't be much recoil in this. Yeah, there ain't nothing. As you can see on the virtual Casey, Jake missed. <laughs> I might have. I'm not zero to this, but Birchwood Casey suck anymore. Anyways, let's go down, check it out, and see how it did. All right, so we shot it with a 650. Uh, clearly, I was wrong. I thought a 650 with an ounce and an eighth would be, you know, a really small payload for a 12 gauge in TSS. I was thinking it would choke it down and control it. It actually looks like it sprung it open. So just looking at it quick, you can see the flyers up here. I mean, it looks centered. I mean, I got three in the brain. That's really it. 
I mean, for all the people that count the old skin flap here as vitals, there's hits there as well. But I know we can get this a hell of a lot better than that. But let's take this target off, and then we'll look at it a little bit more in detail with the BCO 12 on there. See what it does. All right, so we took the target off. Helps make it look a little better, but we can get this a hell of a lot better than this. I know it for a fact, but you have to understand, yes, this is a 12 gauge, but an ounce and an eighth payload, essentially that's a lot, that's very similar to a 28 gauge, a very small 28 gauge payload. So this is designed for low recoil and a budget friendly option. Now this, you have to, it's hard to look at this as what it is because it's a tiny payload for a 20 or a 12 gauge but you can see in the bco 12 you do have some big voids in it but you're going to have that with that little of shot which is crazy because i'd still take this over any lead load in a 12 gauge but you can see the 650 i think actually blew it out it's got a bunch of flyers out here a bunch over there it's a more open pattern and usually when you get this kind of open pattern it's blown out now it's not always flyers you'll see, but you can just see how this shot is separated and you're getting that patchy full pattern. That generally means it's over constricted, but, and this, this payload, I wouldn't have thought 650 would be too tight, but we got a ton of different guns to put this through and we have a ton of different chokes. I do like the idea of a low recoil uh, budget, more budget friendly TSS load. I don't know what these run for, but announcing an eighth of TSS probably, probably is pretty affordable. So if you, one of those guys that just can't figure out that, you know, the cost difference between TSS and lead, the performance value is worth it. This might be a load for you to step in the door. And then as soon as you do, I promise you'll close that door. Cause as soon as you start shooting TSS, you'll realize real quick when, when you look at everything as gas, tags, licenses, camo, calls, vests, everything you put into just a turkey hunt itself, when you really look at it all, I have no problem spending the extra seven, eight dollars for the best possible shell I could put in my gun at the time and put patterns on paper or kill turkeys. So this would be a really good option for those of you guys that just don't want to spend the money. Uh, this should be very affordable, and it's a really low recoil. I didn't feel nothing shooting that. So we'll, we'll be patterning this more. Um, needless to say, an ounce and an eighth and, and 20, Jesus, I can't even say 12 gauge with ounce and an eighth. It just doesn't like register in my mind. But I think we can get this a hell of a lot better. Uh, we'll, the next pattern test with it, we'll probably do a, a 660 and a 665 side by side so we can really start to learn this load, maybe in different guns or what have you, and just see what we can get to improve this. Needless to say, if it was someone coming from lead to TSS, this is still a huge upgrade, and it's probably, like I said, really affordable. So not the best showing, but... Like the last test, you never know what's going to hammer until you put it on paper. I mean, we do this all weekend long from January to June for four years now. We've done a ton of pattern tests, and it's almost to a thousand total pattern tests between waterfowl and turkey. And we still get shocked by what happens, what we think is going to work. You know, you just never know. There's so many variables that go into a pattern test, hammering or being a dud, from the choke to the load to the gun to everything. I mean, shell to shell. I did get this yesterday. Someone was messaged me asking why his pattern isn't the exact same. Two shots in a row. It's not going to be. It's two different shells. You're going to have variation. Uh, we will be doing some tests here coming soon where we put the same setup, three shots. We'll put the BCO-12, we'll compare them and see how the flyers look, how the core looks, and how much variation amongst it. Uh, I did have someone ask me if we could do that with every brand. That can't happen. I, 
I can't afford to do that, nor do I want to take that much ammo for our pattern testing. I mean, these hand loaders are already swarmed because y'all order during season and stuff like that. For us to try to shoot that many shells with every brand, that just ain't fair. That's all there is to say about that. We'll do it here and there, but it ain't going to be till towards the end of the, the turkey pattern series. We got so many setups to do like this. We're trying to get as many content, well, I should say as many setups on the channel as possible. And now, shifting to focus, we got, it's April 8th, just had the total eclipse, which now the sun's out. You know what I mean? The clouds are gone. We missed the eclipse, but it was really cool filming it. We actually had to change the camera to infrared. You've already saw that by now, but uh, we got to start focusing on our setups and what we want to hunt with. So we're going to shift the focus to that. So we'll be patterning a lot of our different guns that we do want to kill turkeys with. And we'll have that journey of finding what we want. I already know pretty much what I want to hunt with. I want to I want to put it on paper a couple more times and hopefully I can sneak out of state and hunt somewhere else but with just replacing the engine I it's going to be tight. I'm going to try to make it work but it might just be New York this year for the that just sucks to say but what I'm trying to say is we try to get to all this is it, there's so many pattern tests that I get asked to do daily. Our members do request pattern tests. We do acknowledge them. If you do want to re request patterns, memberships in the, the description below. BCO merch is there as well. Guys, we've been filming hardcore lately. Six videos Saturday, 12 yesterday, five or six today. It's nonstop. We do what we can to get you all the content. Our members are smiling because there's going to be like 24 new videos from this week. But guys, as always, Smash that thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below. Let us know what you thought of this, what you think we should try to make it better. If you would hunt this, realistically for what it is, it's not a bad pattern at all right there, but I do know we can get it a lot better. So as always, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Catch you on the next one.